Hi, um, just a quick video today. I've got a new watch. Um, I haven't opened the box yet, so we're gonna see what it's like. Um, I sold a, a cheap watch I had the other day. Um, and basically, I seen this on um, eBay and thought this looks like something I'd be quite interested in. So let me just open the box and we'll see how it goes. Literally only just turned up. Okay, can we guess what it is? There we go. Okay. It's a Laco. So, let's have a look. Box is all very nice, cardboard box, nothing particularly special, but there again, this isn't a particularly special, uh, expensive watch, sorry. It's got the US price on here, $460. I think the UK price, well, the Euro price is 390. So, leverette, um, looks like more like a travel case, like a big Zin travel case. Um, zipped and name on the bottom here. Hmm, that's quite nice. So I brought this from a um, grey dealer online. I got a really good discount on it. Um, let's just have a quick look at the paperwork before we actually look at the watch. So paperwork, we have the warranty card. Uh, interesting, it's actually got a reference on there, that's quite good. We got a little bit of paperwork about and the Flieger. This is a limited edition model. So this one here is number 430 out of 500. And specifications. Now, okay, let's put those back in there. I'll do that in a minute. So here we go, this is the watch. And that's quite nice actually. Excuse me. Um, and this is the, the watch. It's one of their special edition models. Um, it's still only one of the basic ones, so with the Miyota movement, but this one has the newer updated Miyota movement. So basically what I mean by that, if I pull the crown out now, it does hack. And I believe on the other models, it didn't hack. And to be fair, it's got this new um, dial colour which is I think only came out September I think it was uh, 2019 um, the watch was sold as new and to be fair it does look new as I reason why I say that I can't see any marks on the holes on the strap has a nice brushed finish to it I'm not going to go too much into detail because I want to do a proper review of this at a later time but overall, what make, what stands uh, this model out against their other ones in the basic range is it has this different face. I believe the other ones have C3 Lupino, uh, Superluminova. This has C1 because I believe it's a blue finish on there and it looks better against this grey um, kind of coloured dial. And obviously it has the upgraded movement and it has this strap, which I've been told is a lot more... Well, it's more pliable, a bit more upper class than their others on their basic range. So, quick look at the movement. Basically, it's a Miyota, um, just with a slightly modified, um, I don't know if that's their own wheel, um, rotor on the back of there. It does spin incredibly freely, to be fair. I'm surprised how easily that winds. Just a very, very quick shot. I'm still actually wearing my Christopher Ward. I have been for the last few days. So it's a quick, very quick look on the wrist. It's a 42, I believe 42 mil watch. Um, but obviously flight watches are completely different. They look a lot bigger than normal. So that Christopher Ward, I believe is a 43, but you can see how much bigger the dial is. And first impression, I like it. Sapphire crystal on front and back. Hmm. 50-50 on the strap to be fair, I don't know, I, I normally like a straight cut strap rather than um, tapered, but to be fair, it's quite nice. So, there you go, that is, I say, only a real short video for now, because um, I don't want to do a review of it 
until I've worn it properly and had it on my wrist for a few days and you know, see how it goes. So, okay, there you go. Real short video today of the, my new uh, watch. So, all the best and see you in the next review. Again, please like and subscribe if you uh, find the content interesting. Thanks, bye.